here from super aquatics and this is my first video and i'm glad to introduce myself um it's been a great year so far already how everybody doing you know comment down below and say you know hey drop a comment drop a fire drop a heart whatever you want to do anyways um let's break the ice i have been doing aquatics for like maybe almost a whole year as far as like at home myself really dabbling into the real experience but i worked at petco i have done things with fish um and other animals i had a fish tank when i was younger and my mom had like a 50 gallon and she would always had these super, my uncle would always put these super aggressive fish in her fish tank. And stuff would get eaten. But um, I really learned a lot of stuff just remembering all the things that were going on. And I know from that time on, I always kind of had it in the back of my mind. I never really got into it, but like I had it in the back of my mind, like I want to do this. So it was something that I always knew, like one day I'm going to do it. So after I got that, you know, I kind of rushed into it. I'm like, you know, I like this. I know what I'm doing, whatever. So I got a bunch of cichlids and threw them in there. <laughs> after I got all the cichlids in there, they were fighting and all type of stuff, just killing each other. A lot of them got swim bladder. I did not know what I was doing. It was a disaster. Tank was tore up. So I decided to turn into a community tank and that's when I just started learning everything. I started Googling stuff, looking, watching videos, um, just really getting into the real spirit of having fish the right way. So after um, a couple months of me learning about nitrates, nitrites, ammonia, like water changes, getting a routine for stuff, and just um, really, starting to get to that intermediate stage of having fish. I end up rehoming like all of the fish just because I wanted to do something new. And that's when I decided that I wanted to breed Pleco. So I started off with bristle nose and I ended up buying a, a black female and a black male. So I had three females and I had one black male. They spawned off back, you know, quick. I did a cold water change and just like instant. Put some caves in there, the whole nine yards, you know. And um, I have a bunch of fry now. So a little bit towards, you know, the end of this video, I'm gonna do a whole showing of everything that I have. But I just wanted to introduce myself and break the ice as far as what's going on. And we're gonna talk about my five, my five plecos that I wanna have before this year is over. Now I know it just started, so I got a lot of time. So currently, I have tons of fry for bristle nose. Um, I got three women bristle nose. What did he say? Oh, female, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Anyways, I have um, three females and I have two males in the bottom. I have a, a bigger, a big boy albino. I have two albino females, one big albino female, one smaller size. I have a smaller size black female and I have a smaller male who surprised me because he barely had bristles and he spawned eggs and he took care of the eggs really good. I didn't have no kickouts, no nothing, no eating eggs, nothing. He did a great job. Um, and then um, I have those in a 10, in a 10 gallon. I think about upgrading them. Then I have a 20 long 
and I have three leopard frogs in there. I'm pretty sure I think I have two males and a female. I was told one of them were a female and then I end up, the behaviors aren't adding up. So <laughs> I kind of got a little dilemma going on. I plan on putting two more females in here just to even out the playing field a little more. And my second 20 gallon, the 20 gallons are both longs. I don't really like talls, even though I have one. I got a 20 tall over here. I'm gonna show you the whole layout of the fish room. Um, and the other 20 gallon, I have two clean arabesques, L260s. The leopard frogs are L134s, if you didn't know. And the L144s are the bristlenose. So I got two of them in there. I've told one of them is a boy, one of them is a girl. Well, that's what we're going for. I'm, they're really hard to say. And then I have three king tigers in there since they're both hyphen sisters and they both like a meaty diet. It'll be a little easier for me to just, you know, throw some food in there that they will both eat. And they kind of have the same parameters for everything. But anyways, the five species that I told myself that I wanted to have Leopard frogs were like the number one I knew like when I see it, I have to get it. I got my leopard frogs. I got a couple more to go. Um, bristle nose were just the start, so I kind of not gonna put them on this list. They're just the start, something I'm gonna have on my menu, on my list for just the more general pleco for people. They're easier to take care of. They're easy to breed if you wanna breed stuff like that. I got, So I got the leopard frog, that's one. I got the queen arabesque, that's two. I got king tigers, that's three. I wanna get some Alinker tigers. I believe they're L197, L1, I believe they're L197. I could be wrong, I'm sorry. I look it up, I'm still getting good at this. I believe they're L197. And I want to either get some blue phantoms, or some sultans, and I'm not specific on that number right now, so, <laughs> but, so excuse me. But I'm definitely going to have those on my list. Another one, I definitely want some like some super whites, but like I heard super whites when you breed them, it's, uh, it's like a certain chance of you having either like normal color or the white ones. And I kind of don't really want to take those chances. I wish they would all come out super white. But later on, I'm gonna get into like more expensive high class ones. Oh, I'm tripping. The peppermint, the L181s or the, L, or the Starlights, the L183s. They're definitely on my list. So the L134, the L260s, the L181s or L183s, and the um, Alinker Tigers. I might do six, cause I really like those blue phantoms. I'm not gonna lie to you. But um, those are the five or six that I want to do. Um, so I'm glad to introduce myself and it's gonna be way more videos where this came from. This is just the beginning. This is just the, you know, breaking the ice, the introduction to Super Aquatics. Um, I'm looking to have a website started up probably next year. For now, I am just starting everything off. I'm not getting stuff to breed right away right now. They're showing breeding behaviors though, there they are. I'm happy they're showing breeding behaviors because you know, that's a good sign. I've been doing, making sure every all my levels are nice. I do water changes every week, water change Wednesdays. So I have videos on that every Wednesday of water change Wednesdays. Um, and show you how I do it. Cause I have a method, everybody has their own ways. Some people will probably watch the way I do it and like it. So I'm going to definitely do a video on that. Other than that, I just got the um, Queen Arabesque. They're still getting used to the, you know, getting comfortable with the tank. And um, I'm just making sure everybody's eating good. The temperature's good. Everybody feels comfortable. So once they're in that state of wanting to breathe, it'll just happen and they'll just want to do it instead of trying to force them. So basically, those are all of the five that I want to do, or six. Do you guys like, comment, subscribe, man? I'm glad to have people watching my channel. I'm starting up, I'm a new breeder, and I'm looking forward to the journey. I'm gonna get a camera so it can be better videos because I'm not gonna be doing this off my phone too much longer. So you guys like, comment, subscribe, and everybody have a blessed day. 
Super Aquatics.